Uh, Swamiji, in our lives, we are subject to so many external rules. We are told to behave in a particular manner, to live in a particular manner, to eat in a particular manner. Now, do we have command over our own lives? Do we have the ability and the right to decide what is good for us as we seek happiness and peace in our lives? Whoever does not understand the context is bound by the rule. Whoever understands the context is empowered by the rule. No. Any rule, whether it's a traffic rule or dressing rule or eating rule, any behavior, any rule, if we do not know the context why it is formulated, that will be binding us. If we know why it is formulated, two things will happen. One, you, even while you follow, you will not feel you are bound. You will not be feeling bound if you stop in the red signal, in the traffic rule, if you know the context. While you are following, you will not feel bound. Second, all the grey area will be your freedom. The freedom which comes by knowing the context is to end. One, even while you are following, you will not feel you are bound. Second, all the grey area is your freedom. But when we don't know the context, even while you are following, we will feel we are slaves and we do not know the grey area and we do not have the freedom or command over the grey area. At end of the day, even powers is nothing but knowing the grey area of the cosmic rules. When we know the context, context of the cosmic rules is dharma. When we know the dharma, even if you follow the rules, you will not feel bound. And because you know the grey area, you know where to play. Knowing where you can play and where you need to obey itself is a power. The Inner Awakening participants made a tour around the campus on day 8 of the program today. First they visited the Koshala. Cows are the fruit of all Vedic ceremonies because all sacred rituals are dependent on cows' gifts such as ghee, clarified butter, which enrich the whole existence. All secretions from a cow, including cow urine and cow dung, are sacred and great elixir for many ailments and diseases. The participants were shown where the Nichanandeshwara Sadashiva Golden Temple, the largest temple monastery complex for Lord Sadashiva, is to be built as well as the expansion for Guruku. For over a decade, Nichananda Sacred Arts University has been providing and promoting traditional Vedic art and craft in all its splendor. A very rare happening in modern times, everything produced there is blessed and energized with the superconscious, divine energy by the avatar, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda.